I'm an artist making largely linear textured organic sculptures using steel, copper, recycled materials and wire. Um, I also teach these skills to the wider community to inspire them. Nature has always inspired me. I love it. Forms and textures in the environment, the microscopic world, strange gnarled growths, basic primal forms echoed throughout life that have a universal resonance, the human nature condition, symbiotic relationships and connections. We are, after all, of the earth. So much in life is driven by similar rules and systems. Our body parts, for example, relate closely to other natural phenomena. Neurones are like tree roots and sea creatures, hearts are like nests, and sexual organs are echoed everywhere. I've lived in Somerset longer than anywhere, apart from my childhood. I was born and bred in Kenya. The environment there is very different, but there are similarities. Large open spaces, a thriving wildlife, a slow pace and an earthiness. City life for me is now a bit been there, done that, and I'm glad to get back to peace after a trip to London, much as I love it for its culture. Although my work is mainly sculptural, I love drawing and consider some of my sculptures an extension of my 2D drawings. When I was young, I used to watch ants at work, and I have a current fascination with lichen. Nests and cocoons are a recurring theme in my work. The process of making them as woven layered forms relates strongly to what they represent. The wires are like lines of energy. They're a metaphor for self-protection, encasement, warmth, security, and are also beautiful, life-affirming symbols. I taught in secondary schools for several years, but now focus more on my own art, whilst also teaching and running workshops on a very part-time freelance basis. I co-founded the Scraptors Group a couple of years ago, and we installed a successful narrative sculpture trail at Stourhead National Trust Estate. It took nearly a year of prep to create the pieces. I have since left that group and have some interesting work ahead, one being the Abundance Commission through Somerset Artworks and the NGS. This is a site-specific garden trail of contemporary artwork set in allocated gardens throughout Somerset. Last year I was selected as a Green Capital Artist in Residence in Bristol for Big Green Week and installed some giant floating diatoms in the harbour by the Arnolfini. This coincided with a family workshop I ran at the Arnolfini and I exhibited some other work there and at the Create Centre. When I'm out sourcing materials for my work, hunting for wire in scrapyards, dragging dejected steel bits from woods or finding old mattress springs in a skip, I sometimes wonder whether I'm a bit of a freak or actually doing what other creatures smaller than me do all the time, sourcing from their surroundings and recycling. Nest building is an instinctive, primal, creative act, perfected yet unlearnt by creatures, all unique but true to type and fairly uniform between breeds. I really enjoy gathering unwanted things and giving them a new home life. And although it's now trendy, I've been doing it for nearly 30 years,